everybody welcome i normally do a totally different intro for these i usually go welcome back to another episode of jazzy time but it's no longer jazzy time a couple things have changed on the channel um i have been focusing a lot on tiktok um if you guys don't follow me over there i will insert my at over here i do a lot of cosplay over on tiktok so if you want to go over there you can check me out over there um, but I'm going to start posting some more on my YouTube channel now um, it's now going to be called the crafty hive if you guys haven't already realized um, we're gonna go with some more crafting things and makeup videos regular and cosplay as well um, the pandemic has gotten a little crazy and I'm still into nails don't worry about that. There will be nail stuff posted as well. But, you know, with having to close three times, it's kind of like, you know, in the back. So um, I've, I've calmed down a little bit on the nail stuff and we're going to get into some more makeup and crafts. Uh, today, I have an account takeover that I have to do for another TikTok account and uh, she's requested this character. This character goes by the name of Veronica Sprocket. So I'm going to paint her with you guys in this video today. And I'm going to go in depth and I'm going to tell you guys, you know, the brands and everything that I'm using, what kinds of makeups, yada yada. And uh, everything that I am using in this video will be posted in the description box below. Feel free to comment and ask any kind of questions. If you guys have any makeup requests, Stick them down there also. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna angle the camera just a little bit and we're gonna get started. So don't mind my bathroom, I'm still crazy. Still crazy. All right, so um, for this character, um, she is a steampunk android ultraviolet tiger. So I will be playing with the uh, black light as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause and insert my one yellow contact lens and then I will be right back. So pause for a second or so. Here it is. All right. So while well, my nose is totally going to run. So while that happens, um, I'm gonna let you guys know. So my contact lenses, I get them from Primal Contacts. I will also leave the link for them down below and pushing out air bubbles. Um, I get my contact lenses from Primal Contacts. I totally just said that. <laughs> Um, I'll also leave another link for um, a costume contact site called Unixo. Um, they have like payment plans and things like that if you want to get multiple sets of different kinds of very unique lenses. They have a lot of good stuff and really, really good price. Uh, so, whew, look at that. So red. So red. And now goes the nose. I'm going to put in some lubricating drops. Veronica is a fairly new character to my roster of characters, um, but, but yeah. So the reasoning for one contact lens is because I have a prop that goes over top of my other eye. There is no point in wearing two when you're being covered. Um, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to get out, this is just a poopy off-brand uh, brown eye pencil. It just says eye pencil crayon. And I'm gonna mark off my lines and that for Veronica's paint. So. We're gonna do that. She's kind of got like this collar neck piece, very androidy looking. Sorry, I'm crying. But 
you can't really play music uh, on YouTube, right? So I'm going to sharpen this because, because, yeah, so any brown pencil, you can also use white. I usually use white, um, depending on the, the face paint. So, and I want this. This, this, out, the outer sides will be um, tiger. Most of the face will be tiger. I'm also going to mark off my little white. Areas. Now I do paint most of my face on the side, but most of that gets covered. Some of it gets seen with, uh, like when I turn my head and stuff. So I do add something hanging in front of my eyeball. You guys see that? No? Oh, no, it fell right there. Look at that. All right. So I am first. Um, so, brand I'm using, using Snazaru face paint. Um, I also use Paradise brand, but for this one, I'm going to be using just the black and white of Snazaru. This is a water activated uh, paint, and I'm going to be mixing them together to get different tones of gray uh, in the neck piece here. So, um, I'm going to be using, oh, this brush doesn't have a mark on it anymore. I'm going to be using a flat generic brush. Uh, this is, I feel like it was a Morphe, but all the, all the, 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 the numbers and stuff. Um, so any flat, thick, uh, dense bristled brush, uh, will do for, for this. And I also have my, my cup of water. So, um, I'm going to pause and I will probably, um, speed through this part for you guys and I'm going to just do light dark darker and then when we're skipping over to the next colors I'll come back at full speed or at regular speed full speed regular speed what's going on too much too much so see you guys in a few <laughs> part with a second coat of this uh, lighter gray so I'm gonna let this dry uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill in the muzzle and teeth area with white um, same white same snazaroo so I'm going to just do that very quickly and I'll pop back <laughs> oh, almost forgot to tell you um, this is just a generic brush from the dollar store again another like dense bristle brush uh water white snazaroo also while i'm painting here it's gonna look like i have a really cool mustache like i'm related to yosemite sam you know i'm also gonna fill in these white patches here uh as well And remember, if your paint is too sheer, let it dry and apply a second coat. Blam. All right. So again, like I don't always, I don't do much up here because even like my wig uh, will cover, here comes my munchkin, uh, will cover most of that. Um, I'm now going to take the same, same brush. Jenny. I'm going to take the same brush, same uh, color, and um, I'm going to add... Um, mommy? Yes, love. 
distress marks. It's like little pulls in that on the on the dark color. Of the chin here. I'm also going to add just a little on the neck mark here. And I'm also going to, I've got a little bit of gray left here. I'm going to mix the, the white into that to get just a very, very pale gray. And I'm going to go along my neck here and I'm going to do these little curves like so. These are going to be highlights to the neck tube that I will be creating with the paint. Like so. So these are going to have little ribs in that in it. So I'm done with those colors for now. Um, I'm going to go in. I've got my little plate palette here. Um, I'm going to show you guys this set. So I got this little set um, off of Amazon. Six colors. These are neon body paint. The brand is UV Glow show you here. I'll make sure that I leave a link for these in the description box below. Um, give me like half a toot and I will uh, plug in my black light and I'll show you guys what they look like. All right. So you guys are still going to see the ring light, but so this, oh, maybe I can shut this off, shut that up for just a second. You guys are going to see my closet. All right. Uh, so that is the yellow. This is one of the oranges, the blue, the pink, which we will be using today. This one's the green. I think I'm going to use either the yellow or the green or maybe even this orange here. Um, and cause I do the little Android marks. Uh, so I'm going, I want to highlight those this time because this is still a, a fairly new character. Um, so I'm still tweaking her a little bit. So we, like in the cosplay world, we call it drafts. So this is like more of a second draft so I can now improve and tweak and, uh, and, and, and so on. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm going to grab a clean, uh, another one of these brushes here. Um, I got a large, it's just a multi-pack of different brushes from Dollarama. Um, and I'm going to go ahead with the pink. Now this, even though these tubes are small, a little bit of this goes one heck of a long way. So do not use like a whole bunch. When I'm painting, I literally... Add a little bit like that at a time because that's gonna get me very very far when I am painting so I'm going to paint pretty much the majority of all this skin here and then I'm gonna also paint here and here when I am done that I will come back <laughs> One thing I will um, note, uh, even though this is labeled a face and body paint, it is very drying um, to the skin. So if you're very sensitive, um, 
watch your brands, read your labels. Um, this one doesn't bother me specifically, but there are other brands out there that have water activated UV stuff. So yes. Um, all right. So I'm going to go back in with my black now and I am going to opt for a much smaller, thinner brush. And uh, we're going to go ahead and add detail. So. Yes. in the speedy speedy part when I was doing that. So when I do my tiger stripes like on the neck, um, I take my brush and I've got it fully loaded, nice and plump with, uh, with paint. And I basically like lay the brush down flat, the whole barrel of the brush, and I'll give it a wiggle and just give it a wiggle, like just wiggle it. Almost like you're doing like almost a, like a, what would you call that? Uh, like a thunderbolt. Right? And then you're going to intertwine them. And you can also pull your brush up straight and get thinner lines. Push it back down to get thicker ones. And tiger stripes are not um, symmetrical. A tiger is not symmetrical. So you can have fun with your tiger stripes uh, if you so choose to do this makeup or uh, a different kind of makeup. Uh, and you're just basically filling in with some stripes. So that's what I do for, for the ones on the neck. Uh, I go a little bit uh, different on the, on the face, but I'll show you guys that in just a minute. I don't go too, too much on the neck because a lot of this is covered with a wig. So yes. So on the muzzle, I'm going to put my brush here and I'm going to just wiggle. I'm like wiggling and dotting. So wiggle, dot, 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 until it gets finer for whisker marks. So thick wiggle, wiggle, dot, 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 just like so. I do try to mirror them on the muzzle. Just like so. And now we're going to go with the stripes. Do a lot of wiggling. It does help simulate fur on a flat surface, like so. Uh, I am gonna line my eyes, but not actually. Yes, I will. I'm gonna line my bottom lash line and my upper. The same as you would for eyeliner, per se. I am going to bring the the water line down to meet the line that I put on the nose. This one I'm going to continue out like so. I'm going to fill it in a little bit like a cat's eye eyeliner. 
and then I'm gonna bring it up, flatten out my brush and wiggle, and then taper it out with fine, fine lines. Bringing all my stripes toward the muzzle, basically to this, to this point here. So everything's gonna angle either up or in. And you don't wanna overwhelm it too, too much. You can also like I'll drag out little dots like that to kind of help help with it. Oh, did you hear my stomach? I've been working out like a mad person, writing a book, doing all kinds of crazy stuff. See, just like that, and I'm gonna mimic a little bit of that on this side. So that the stripes do come up from underneath uh, the eye patch, but uh, I'll show you that this. when this goes on. You're not going to see very much of that side of my face, so that's why I do not focus too much on this side. I focus more on this side because this is the side the camera sees the most. Um, I think that is, what is it? Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to go into the James Charles palette and um, let's use, I'm using a JS6 from the Morphe X um, Jeffree Star and I'm going to go into Rusted, which is this sort of brownie orange. I'm gonna tap off my excess here. And I'm going to rust up these fangs a little bit. Just like that. I think I'll add a little bit here on the muscle just because I want to just a little bit don't need to do much all right uh, now 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 brown cow uh, what am I going into no fangs yet uh, oh bottom bottom lash line bottom lash line I'm gonna do a white bottom lash line here, a sharpness, but I am using the Annabelle Stay Sharp Metallic Self Sharpening uh, Eyeliner. This is in Snow White. It is a waterproof self sharpening doohickey. And I'm just going to cover the bottom lash line in white. Like so. You could do black if you wanted to, but you know, that's too easy. Um, I'm going to also do my lashes with the, this is the CoverGirl Peacock Flare uh, black mascara. I'm going to do the tops and bottom lashes. I am going to put on false lashes. Again, I will have everything that I used in this video in the description box below. Um, oh, before I go ahead, I'm going to take that thin brush again, and I am going to do my Android. So in, when I say Android marks, I mean like, um, joint lines is that what you would call them I don't know like I do I wear a spaghetti strap top with this because it brings my makeup right to where I need it basically my straps do get covered with my um, my wig anyway but I do go around and it's best to do this in a mirror or have somebody help you 
around my elbows, my wrists, all the joints in my fingers. Like so. Take off my ring. It's best to try and keep your fingers still while you're painting. Um, do one hand at a time and let them dry. Uh, this paint does dry fairly quickly, uh, but if you move too much, um, the paint will bleed and then it won't, you know, give you that effect. So. Take your time when you're doing these specific parts uh, of the makeup. And I'm going to do these three fingers with you guys and then I'll pause and get the rest of my lines on before we advance. So like so, you're going to continue across all five. That way you get that sort of androidy look. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to jump and do these all. Voila. And now I'm going to go back into the James Charles palette and uh, I believe this is skip, skip. I'm going in with Skip and a big fluffy brush and instead of doing the, the neon lines, I'm going to just highlight or dust some pink on the joints to uh, to add to it, so I'm also going to do that off camera. So, pause for a second. But yeah, all right. So I just added a little bit of pink everywhere. It shows up better in like TikTok videos than it would on this video. So, yes. All right. Now I'm going to get done my wig. So, all right. So I've also brought a fan in because once the the wig and the props go on it does tend to get a little hot so if you're going to wear lots of gear especially on your head make sure that you have proper ventilation and air circulation so you're not sweating your makeup off um so i've got i would normally put a uh, wig cap on but with this wig specifically there's too much squeezing going on so i have just a ponytail in the back um i'm going to pull this bad girl on there are very very long bangs on this wig in, spe in specifics and oh wait <laughs> I forgot to grab the straps this is a clipping type wig so there are little bungees that you clip when you get it in place Woo. I'm gonna have to do the old flipping brush. Whoa. Hi, welcome to my channel. I can't see a thing. Oh my word. Hello. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get a brush out and I'm gonna I'm gonna sort this uh, this this hair and uh, I will be right back once again. All right. <laughs> we are sorted. Okay, so now I am going to uh, untie and uh, apply my eye patch that I made. So I made this out of some foam with some wire and in here there's uh, there are lights in here so I get like the full Android um, moment with the uh, the lights in the eyes and stuff like that. So I'm going to mount this up and get the hair through and be back yet again. Bam! 
Okay. All right. Last, second last part um, is the beautiful hat. And I also have to put my necklace on as well. What inspired this character was actually uh, this little this little guy right here. This is a, I'm going to call it a charm. Um, this is a charm that was actually made by a great TikToker. And also she's a little business owner. Um, she goes by Cannibal Studios. I'll leave her at in the video here. And I'll also um, put both her website and her TikTok handle in the description box below. She made this beautiful steampunk seahorse. She also made me this necklace here. A little steampunk elephant she makes all this handmade resin art it's beautiful beautiful stuff um also this key she made this key that i use as a little uh earring on the one side and i gotta tuck that up under there all right just like so blam gotta make sure that's comfy i'm gonna grab my my fangs. All right, so I also have these fangs. So I made these fangs here out of polymorph. Um, I will go in depth in another video with fangs made of polymorph, but they are custom little fangs. They are fun to work with. You can use polymorph for all kinds of different things. Let's see if I can get this on without catching the wig. Bam. All right. So let's see this girl in full effect, huh? All right. Oh, I got to put my, <laughs> my light. All right, so there we go. So there was tutorial on Veronica's Rocket. So if you guys enjoyed that, please leave a like, give me a thumbs up. Don't be afraid to subscribe and share with your friends. Ask anything you want to ask in the description box below, or sorry, in the comments below. The description box will have everything from today's video. Um, I will also share uh, the name of the place I got this hat from because I bought this hat specifically and just added, you know, my, my touches to it. So you guys all have a great day. Maybe I'll see you on TikTok. If not, enjoy the day. Snatch it, get it, you got it. Ciao.